Good morning everyone. Yesterday we discussed that animal husbandry. What is the animal husbandry? Rain, caring, breeding of animals for human beneficial, human use purpose. That we called as animal husbandry. Now we will discuss dairy farming. What management practices we will take in the dairy farming? This is also included in the animal husbandry. Here you see, what is the dairy farming? What is the dairy management? Rearing, caring, breeding of cattle, maybe cows or buffaloes, we call it as dairy farming. What is the exact meaning of dairy? Milk. The raising, caring, breeding of animals for milk, for human consumption, that we call as dairy farming. Now we will discuss of the introduction of these animals. Based on the economic importance, these cattle are classified mainly three types. One is that is milk breeds milk breeds milk breeds what is that first one milk breed second one is drought breed drought breeds third one is dual purpose breed dual Dual purpose breeds. There are three types of breeds. What basis we are classified based on economic importance. One is milk breed, drought breed, dual purpose breed. First one is milk breed. The animals which provide mainly milk. That breeds we call as milk breeds example male and female cattle situation male cattle is not that much of absent in the field work but a female it's helpful for the production of more milk that group of breeds we called as milk breeds it's mainly growing for what purpose milk that group of breeds such a type of breeds we called as milk breeds. Example, red sindhi, red sindhi. Second one is sahiwal, sahiwal, red sindhi, sahiwal. This group of breeds we called as milk breeds. It's mainly growing for what purpose? Milk purpose. Second one is drought breeds. What is the drought breed? It's especially helps for field work. It's very efficient in the field work. What sir? Female cattle also helpful for the field work. Female not. Male we are considering. Male is very absent in the transport or maybe field work, transport purpose or maybe in whatever any way. Female, it's not that much used for the milk production, very less amount of milk we give. That's why it's very absent in the field work. That breeds we call as drought breeds. The breeds, the group of animals which helps for field work, that group, such type of breeds we call as a broad breeds. Example, one is Amrit Mahal. Amrit Mahal. Amrit Mahal. Next one is Hallikar. Hallikar. One is called Amrit Mahal. Second one is Hellican. It's very famous. Both are Karnataka breeds. 
One is called Amrit Mahal, second is Halikar. This both breeds, it's very efficient for field work. It's not that much used for the milk production. That's why this group of breeds we called as drought breeds. Third one is dual purpose breed. What is the dual purpose breed? It's a male and female cattle. Male is very efficient in the drought field work. Female is helpful for the production of milk. It's both purpose we are using. In first case, female is produce more milk. Male is not that much of efficient in the field work. That's why it is a milk breed. Second case, it's a male is efficient in the field work. Female is a not useful for the milk production. Less amount of milk. That's why it's a drought breed. But third case, Male is efficient in the field work, female is production of milk, both purpose is helpful. That's why this group of breeds we call as dual purpose breeds. Example, Wangol, happy breed. Wangol, next one. Haryana, Haryana, next one is. Tarparka Tarparka These breeds are called dual purpose breed Ongol, Haryana, Tarparka These breeds are called what you call? What you call? That is called dual purpose breed What basis we are classified this three group? Based on economic importance Next classification, these the dairy animals, especially we are discussing now cows, these are based on origin, based on origin means what, where is the native place, it's foreign or India, based on origin, it's classified into two types of animals, one is exotic breeds, Exotic breeds. Second is desi breeds that we called as indigenous breeds. Exotic cow or exotic breed. Second is indigenous cow, indigenous breeds. What is the meaning of exotic indigenous? Exotic means some of the cows or breeds origin from foreign imported to the India that we call as exotic breeds indigenous breeds origin growing both are in India only native is India this is native is foreign but growing is in India that breeds we call as exotic example one is Jersey Jersey. Next one is Holstein Frisian. Holstein Frisian. Holstein Frisian. Third one is Brown Swiss. Brown Swiss. Brown Swiss. Next one is Red Tail. Red Tail. These are the exotic breeds. Jersey, Holstein Frisia, Brown Swiss, Red Tail. Countries important. It's where onwards we are imported. Where is an origin? Jersey. Jersey, that is UK, United Kingdom, Britain, English breed, what is the breed? Jersey, Holstein Frisian, Holstein Frisian, it's getting from Holland, Holland, now we are calling Netherlands, Brown Swiss, Swiss, 
Swiss. Means Swiss means what country? Switzerland. Brown Swiss, Switzerland. Red Dane, Red Dane, 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 Denmark. 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 These are called exotic breeds. Jersey, UK. Holstein, Frisia, Holland, Brown Swiss, Switzerland, Red Den, Denmark. These are origin, foreign, imported to the India. Now come to here, indigenous cows. Already we discussed in previous, these all are indigenous cows. One is Sahimal, Sahimal. Next one is Red Sindhi. Red Sindhi. Next one, Gil. Gil. Next, that is Mongol. Next, Haryana. These all breeds we called as indigenous breeds. Okay, na? what based we are classified? Based on origin. It's native or maybe foreign. Based on that, the breeds are classified into two types. Exotic breed, indigenous breed. Next, we will discuss buffaloes. Previous we discussed cows. Now we are discussing buffaloes. Both are helpful for the milk production. But Buffaloes is main in India. It's used for the milk production. Now see, what type of buffaloes are present in India? One is Murra. Murra breed. Next, Mehsana. Mehsana. Next, Bharatwari. Bharatwari. Next, Neeli Ravi. Neeli Ravi. Murra, Mehasana, Bharatwari, Neeli Ravi, Jafra Wali. Jafra Wali. These all are the buffalo breeds, but among the all Indian recognized breed, that is Indian dairy breed, that is called Murra breed. In villages, black buffalo, fat buffalo, it's full. That type of buffalo is called Murra breed. It's a very important breed in India. It is give more amount of milk. That's why this is called Indian dairy breed. What is the Indian dairy breed of buffalo? Murra breed. It's commonly seen in the some villages. But now we are discussing maybe cows or maybe buffaloes. Both are helpful for the production of milk. That only main aim of dairy farming. Dairy milk, milk, milk products. The rearing and caring and breeding of animals for the milk for human consumption that we call it as dairy animals, dairy farming. This milk, what is the main difference between the cow milk and buffalo's milk? Some variations is there. What are the variations? Cow milk, its thickness is less. Thickness is less. But buffalo's milk thickness is more. We can easily identify. Thickness is more is there. That's, that milk we called as a buffalo's milk. Thin, that is uh, thickness is less. Liquidifying like. That milk we called as cow milk. And another. Fat content is more in buffalo's milk if you compared with the cow milk. Once you take that milk. Buffalo's milk, one glass you take, taste is different. It's a good taste will come. That's a fat taste. Buffalo's milk, more fat content, if you come 
compared with the cow milk. Anyway, milk getting from buffaloes and cows. With help of this milk, what products we are producing? That is, milk products, milk and milk products we are getting from the dairy farm. What milk products? Tell me some example of milk products. Any few you say? What is what? Curd. Curd. It's a milk product. Next one is butter milk. Butter milk. Next. Ghee. Ghee. Next one is cheese. Cheese. Next. Next. Butter. Butter. Next one is yogurt. Like ice cream pen. This all are the milk products. With the help of this milk we are preparing chocolates. Like that. What are the milk products? Curd. Butter milk. Butter. Ghee. Cheese. With the help of milk we are produce a different type of milk products. Like that. Milk is the one of the food items to the human being. For that purpose, we are produce more amount of milk with the help of dairy farming. To produce more amount, that is quantity of milk, what type of management practices we are taking in the dairy farm? We will discuss tomorrow one by one, one by one. What management practices is available to provide quantity of milk? and the quality of milk products.